Hey guys, it's Lucas, and in this video I'm going to be going over the settings tab in AI Obot, and I'm going to be explaining different parts of it. So the first one is the accounts settings, and as you can see here, this pretty much just displays information about your license key, uh, such as what your activation key is, uh, the email that it is binded to, uh, when it expires, uh, what kind of access do you have, and also you have the version number. Uh, and as well as kind of like some other extra info. Now, uh, the deactivate button here can be used whenever you want to move your bot to another device. Uh, so if, for example, you're running the bot on a server and you would like to move it to your local uh, desktop, then you could just pretty much deactivate it here and then use that very key that you have over here to activate it on the new device. Uh, as for extend your updates, if your uh, license key is nearing expiration, you can click on this and it'll send you on to a website that will allow you to uh, you know, update your, uh, your license key and add six extra months to it. And finally here you have the check for updates button uh, that allows you to just kind of make sure that you know you're on the latest update as you can see here I am on the latest update also you just kind of got some links to the discord and other social medias that you can kind of click on to. now the next tab that we have here is the notifications tab and that pretty much allows you to get notified whenever uh, a task is added to cart or a task a task checks out an item uh, assuming that you actually have these ticked so if I wanted to be notified whenever a task would add to cart and checked out as well I tick both uh, some people prefer to just have their ticked as when you know whenever they get checkouts I prefer to do both and then you can decide the different means in which you want to get notified with so the first one that you have here is notify using discord so if you tick this, then you can add here your Discord webhook. There is a d different video for that uh, that we already have made that will show you how you can make your webhook URL and how you can add it onto the bot. Uh, the next feature that you have here is the notify using Twilio and notify using email. I personally don't use these. I'm not sure if they work as properly as they should, uh, but you could always toy around, try them, figure them out. Uh, the next one that you have here is the not notify using sound. So whenever your item added a cart or checks out, then you would get notified uh, by sound on your bot. Of course, if you're using your bot on a server, uh, you will you can't get any sound because servers don't actually have any sounds or volume. Uh, and the next thing that you have here is the notify on captcha load. Uh, whenever any task requires any captcha, uh, you could be notified uh, for that as well. And uh, just don't forget to click save whenever you're actually done with this. If you do not click save, none of the settings that you have here configured will actually uh, save. Now the next tab that we have is the delays tab. And this delays tab is just pretty much for uh, restock delays. Uh, you can adjust them also within the task tab as well for your tasks. Uh, at, at least this is considered regarding the Shopify restock delays but for the Supreme restock delays uh, the only place that you can adjust them is here you can't really adjust them through the tasks at the moment and uh, what kind of delays you should use that's something that is already kind of discussed in the guides uh, so that's kind of like a topic for another day now the next uh, feature that we have here is PayPal uh, some tasks or some sites will uh, want you to check out an item using PayPal. You know, not every site will allow cards. So uh, there are very few sites that allow only PayPal. Uh, so you want to have your PayPal account details logged into here. So once you log into, let's go for a test. And then you just kind of have any sort of credentials. Uh, once you click on save, you know it'll have it and then it will pop up a PayPal tab for you for you to actually complete the whole login process and uh, yeah you just kind of want to make that you want to make sure that you have that ready before a drop that requires you to use PayPal and you can always test as well uh, it'll test to make sure that you know the PayPal is already logged in now the next thing that we have here is the site accounts and as you can see already, I have a test account on here. 
So pretty much what that is, there are some sites, uh, more specifically, there are certain uh, Shopify sites that will not allow you to check out an item unless you have a, an account on that site. So whenever you want to create tasks on there, you have to make sure that you have accounts in, within these tasks. And so to add these tasks to the bot, you want to add them in the site accounts tab. Uh, so when you click on here, add new, it'll give the option to add accounts for pretty much any Shopify site out there. And you could add also email and password for that. And you click save. Uh, to make these accounts, you have to go to the websites and manually do them. There are also some tools out there, third-party tools, that allow you to create these accounts uh, in a much easier way. You can also import and export these different accounts as well. And uh, finally, we have the languages. There are two languages only that are supported at the moment. We got English and I believe it's Mandarin. So uh, these are different options that you have, and then you can kind of click save here. Uh, over here, we got the different tutorials. Uh, these give you links to the help desk that we have uh, different tutorials for. And uh, you can also refer to the guides on Discord as well. Uh, both of these are regularly updated, both the tutorials that you see on here as well as the Discord guides. And finally, here you have the different, different products that you could purchase. If you want to purchase another copy of AIO bot, if you want to purchase individual Supreme bot, uh, unlimited accounts, meaning you know unlimited tasks, an extra license, uh, updates, you know if you want to renew your key, if you want access to the cook group, AIO notify. You also got here the uh, proxies if you want to purchase and got servers as well. Once again, you don't really have to purchase any of these three products here necessarily. There are many other cook groups that you can go to. There are many other proxies and there are many other servers options out there that you can explore. These are just some suggestions that you have uh, that are worth exploring too. Uh, but you know, other than that, I mean, that's pretty much it for this uh, video. I hope you found it useful and uh, we'll see you in the next video.